What is up guys, Jeffrey Gaming here, welcome back to my Jules Bianchi career mode on F1 2015-2014 season. If you missed the first race, then go and check it out, it gives like an explanation of what's going on in this season, and it was a very enjoyable race as well, though we did struggle a little bit, and it's opened my eyes to how difficult this season could be, because I think realistically, a few points would be very nice to Jules, and it'd be a fitting tribute if we could do that, but here for the Malaysian Grand Prix, we're about to do one shot quality, and it's an alright track for me, so I'm hoping to hopefully have a decent lap and a decent race overall. And yeah, the first sector, it's a bit demoralizing seeing the Mercedes pull away so quickly, and it doesn't help when I make mis uh, mistakes like that. I didn't do practice once again before this, I like to do it like that, just go into the uh, session cold. I don't know, it's just a weird fetish I clearly have, but uh, yeah, to see the Mercedes power away is really demoralizing, though I need to remember that car is clearly the best on this season. So we're coming to the line after an okay lap, it hasn't been the best, and where we're going to end up, it looks like it could be 15th by the looks of that. And yeah, you can see from the qualifying results, the two Mercedes are absolutely miles ahead of everyone else, a second ahead of Valtteri Bottas in third. Any surprises? The two Ferraris are quite far down, but I suppose they weren't the best in the 2014 season. So, yeah, we did qualify 15th, four seconds off the pace. I did say it wasn't the best of laps, but we've out-qualified the two Taubers, the two Lotuses, our teammate, and the two Caterham, so I'm pretty happy with that overall. And now we're on the grid for the Malaysian Grand Prix. No rain, which is always good. I want a fully dry race so I can... Hopefully get close to the top 10 and hopefully try and score Jules Bianchi's first points of the season. But first of all, we need a good start. And let's see if I can produce here. Five lights and the Malaysian Grand Prix is away and... Yeah, we don't get a great getaway and we've got a Lotus on our outside so we block him off. But it doesn't look like we're under threat from anyone really. There's a big gap to the top 14. So we're going to have to go for a bit of a dive bomb, try and make up as many positions as we can which is going to be key in this series. We need to do that on the first lap and hopefully hold cars back. Hopefully I'm not going to be a bit of a manage, um, Marussia train even. Yeah, I'm making the mistakes. So I'm not a man yet. That's next season. But we're up to 12th. And we're going to look for a move once again into this right-hander up the inside of Perez. It gives us enough room. And that is us up into 11th position. That's a solid start. Very happy with that. We've got two cars ahead side by side. Hulkenberg's getting his momentum halted. I was concerned through this section that our car has such horrible downforce that we would struggle, but it doesn't look too bad on the first lap there. And we're all over the back of the Force India. Let's see if we can get a move done. No, probably too far back. So that's been a solid first lap. Now to lap two. We show the downforce on the car. This, I've got a setup on, and it's working quite well. We've got some great straight line speed. Struggling a bit in the fast corners, but. It seems like we've got the run on this Force India, so we could have an opportunity of going for the overtake. And I'm closer this time than I was on the first lap, so I think I'm going to go for it. Out the inside, can we get Hulkenberg? Get into the top 10? Yes, we can. Clean move, bit of oversteer, but there we go. We're in the points for the first time in this season, and it feels pretty good. Ahead of us is a McLaren holding up the two Ferraris, so the two Ferraris aren't having a great race so far. On to lap 3 here. We are holding up a little bit of a train. I do struggle in that section of the track so badly. That corner is just so difficult to get correctly. I don't know which gear to go in, two or three, and yeah, where the hell is the braking bite? So I do need to work on that. Hulkenberg does get past us with DRS, but there is a second DRS zone, and I'm going to get DRS here, so I should fight back into turn one, and we'll see. I'll show here uh, what our straight line speed is like. It's not too bad. It's not the best, but it's... It's enough to battle with these guys. I was getting attacked by the other Force India there as well. Perez had a look, but uh, didn't go for it. And now the two Force Indians are side by side. So hopefully they slow each other off. And hopefully we can catch up to the Ferrari ahead. But there's some big news here. You can just see it. There was a car in the middle of the track that ghosted. Sebastian Vettel has retired. He had an awful race in Australia. And yeah, the season's not started very well for the uh, Red Bull driver. Now we're under attack from... Who's that? Hulkenberg, he's coming back. But I've been told that it's going to rain in about 5-10 minutes. Uh, 10 minutes even. So, I've decided to come in early and I'm going to go for another set of the option tyres. It's a risk, I know, because if it doesn't rain, that means I definitely have to make another pit stop. 
But if it does rain, it means I don't have to go on the prime tyres. The AI will obviously pit again to just go on the prime tyres. So that means I should get an advantage from this. But it has to rain, that is the key thing. So if it does rain in about lap 9 or 10, we will get the undercut, we'll be on the better tyres. We should have relatively fresh tyres, so let's see what happens in terms of strategy. Our first potential victim is our teammate, who's incredibly slow through that section. Jeez, how slow is this Maroos here? But I'm putting putting my paces in this car, and this car is pretty quick when it wants to be, and there we go, breezing past my teammate, and there we go, up into 19th position. I'll let him off slightly, Max. He is on the prime tyres, but uh, we get the move done pretty easily, and there's quite a few cars coming out of the pits, so we should gain a few positions, I'd imagine. Let's uh, see how this works out. So we've got ahead of the likes of Kobayashi, that's Jensen Button. He was the McLaren that was fighting with the two Ferraris, so we've nearly got the undercut. We could have an opportunity down here into, I think it's turn four, and as you can see, he is on the prime tyres, hoping to go to the end, but I'm hoping the rain intervenes, and they need to pit for intermediates as, long, as well as me, and we're going to go for the move on the McLaren driver up the inside, and we've got it done. Things are going so well in this race. Let's just hope there is rain, because we need rain for this strategy to work. If it stays dry, we're absolutely screwed. We'll finish around 17th, so... Come on rain, come down, famous Belizean rain, and yeah this catering is incredibly slow, and I'm thinking Ericsson, get the hell out of the way, you're too slow, goodbye. We get the position up into 12th, but there are still cars to pit, I'm not completely sure what our genuine position is right now, but I'm sure we'll find out as the stragglers make their final pit stop, and up to 9th, yeah it's looking quite good, I'm pretty sure there's another car left to pit though. I think it's, yeah, it's Gutierrez just ahead of Alonso, and Alonso's just about to overtake him. We have Button behind us, he's not putting us under incredible pressure, but uh, yeah, he is there ready to pounce. There is Gutierrez I was talking about, he's going into the pits, and there we go up to our genuine position of 8th place. So that would be 4 points, and that would be absolutely brilliant, but I've got to watch out, because we have to defend from Jensen Button in the McLaren who has decent straight line speed they don't have their Honda power unit in this season so that explains that one but we defend nicely into turn one maintaining our eighth place and oh god I love these points so badly it's gonna be a tricky season in some races I'm looking at tracks like Hungary which is gonna be awful but uh, hallelujah praise the Lord it's raining that's exactly what we need and at this point it does feel like it could be time for intermediate tires and that means our strategy has worked out. We haven't had to go on the primes. So we got the undercut to go on the options. And now it's time to come into the pit. So I totally missed the pit entry. Wow. Took too much speed in there. But it looks like everyone else is in for intermediates as well. So there could be a bit of stacking ahead. I'm looking at them two Ferraris that are in 6th and 7th. And I can just see, yes, Alonso is getting stacked behind Raikkonen. Who would have thought the number 2 driver is stacking? Uh, the number one driver stacking even and we jumped him in the pits. Oh my god. This is perfect We're up into seventh position in a Marussia. Jules Bianchi. What a performance this has been so far And can I hold on and get six points that would be absolutely brilliant And let's see how we do on these inters. I was okay I wasn't the fastest and I was seriously under pressure from Alonso in the Ferrari The Ferrari is clearly a superior car and I'm gonna try and defend from him here He's going round the outside. Is he going to outbreak us into the hairpin? I don't think he will. But uh, DRS has been disabled. It should be, should have been disabled. Let's hope Charlie Whiting is doing his job. But now we're under threat from Button as well. Them two swap positions. We're defending from Button. And Alonso looks like he's on the prowl as well. Is he going to go for it? No, he's not. I can't see a car to my left either. So we are pretty... It, we're pretty good at defending into turn one. As you can see, we've done it once again. Raikkonen's getting away. I think we're fighting for 7th here by the looks of things. Lap 12 now. Once again under pressure from the McLaren and the Ferrari. Who would have thought I'd be saying that, especially in only the second race of the season? Button's going for it again. We are defending once again, but Button's got a much better run this time. Alonso's on our inside. We've got three wide into turn one. This is going to be so tricky. Where do I position the car? Where do I defend? And we're going down the middle. I think the McLaren's gone slightly too wide. We've still got Alonso on the inside. So we're going to go back up the inside. And we've defended once again. 
solid defending there from Jules. And now on to lap 13. The rain is coming down. It's very tricky indeed. You can see I'm struggling. I just go totally off the track there. Losing a bit of control. I'm under pressure as well from Alonso. So it's all getting to me. Can I keep the 7th position in the Marus here? I'm getting so excited. Can I do this? Rich Mix. What is Alonso doing? He's going for the move up the inside. We haven't defended it. So let's see if he goes for the move onto the star finish straight. And he... He's turning, he's pulling away, he's pulling off, he's into the pit, everyone is in the pit, everyone is going for the wet tyre, so this final lap, I will be doing it on the Inters in wet conditions, this is going to be very tricky, and I'm up to 5th place, I've jumped 2 cars in the pits, so let's see if this could work out, one less pit stop, can we keep the car on the track? So we are getting closer to 5th position. I just wanted you to hear how I drove that final lap. It was tricky. It was a challenge. But I think it's all paid off. We need a decent exit. It's okay. We're coming to the line. Jules Bianchi in a Marussia has finished in 5th position at the Malaysian Grand Prix. He is ecstatic. I am ecstatic. What a performance. Ah, oh, it feels so satisfying. After an average race in Australia that is brilliant it shows we can get points this season could we even get a podium it's unlikely but I'll be aiming for anything fantastic for Jules his best finish in F1 10 points on the board and it's just a brilliant feeling overall so Hamilton has won the Malaysian Grand Prix from Nico Rosberg the two Mercedes dominating which I think is gonna happen at probably every race this season ahead of Ricardo on the podium the name Jules Bianchi in fifth place it's it just fills me up with so much cheer to see that because he would have been doing that in real life. He probably would have been doing better than that. He would have been battling for a championship. So there we go, Bianchi up to eighth. And it's looking good after two races. At the top, Rosberg has the lead from Bottas and Hamilton in third after his first race finish of the season and the first win. So if you guys have enjoyed that, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see the rest of the season and my other videos. And I'll catch you next time out, which should be the Chinese Grand Prix. Hope I rain. I think China. Goodbye.